What's up everyone? It's Wayne, Fade the Black, Fade Forever, FTB, and today we're going to talk about stripping. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but not that type of stripping. Alright, so when you're talking about stripping windows, there's kind of a lot of variables. Um, number one, how long has that film been on that glass? You know, um, if you're the original owner of the vehicle and you bought it with the tint on it, you don't know how long it's been on there. Um, number two, how good the film is. You know, generally they say if it's a cheaper film, when you strip the film off the window, the glue might stay, you know, stay on the, on the glass. And then if you got the glue that stays on the glass, you're going to be scraping with the razor blade. You're going to be having more time invested, you know. Typically, people ask, what do I use? What type of solution? Typically, I just like to use a steamer. I'll show you in a little bit what type of steamer that I use. Shout out to my buddy Jesse at Highline Motorsports. I went and helped him out one day and he had this little Wagner steamer thing worked like a charm. So then after that, I'm like, dude, I got to get one of these. Ordered it up right away. Hooked it up. I've been loving that thing ever since. Way A lot better than my older steamer. But people ask me, I'll say, get a steamer. If you have a steamer, that's the best way to take the film off. So... One of the things that's going to happen, like I said, generally if you have a cheaper film or maybe the film has been down there for a longer time, you're going to have to get the film off, which film comes in layers. There's layers of film. So, um, if it's like I said, generally if it's a cheaper film, you're going to be stripping the film off. The glue is going to be on there. Then you have to go back with solution and a razor blade and scrape all the film off, all the glue off. And then typically you don't want to leave any specks because then if I put more film on your window, um, you might have little specks in in, inside of your film installation and then it's like that doesn't look good so stripping window film and retinting is kind of a major pain but you know it is what it is we got to do it um, one of the things I was going to say too um, when you steam the film off you want to get the film hot so that's why you use a steamer generally just ripping the film off you're going to rip off layers you're going to leave glue behind it's going to be more of a major pain than than it was to do, than it is to deal with. So typically, number one, you want to steam that film off. Some people just don't want to deal with it. They bring it to us. Now, that's another thing. Some people say they're going to pay by hourly rate. Some people say they're going to strip by windows. But the thing is, you never know what you're going to be into until you start stripping it. You always hope that the film is going to come off, heat it up, and it just comes right off. But that's generally not the case. So that's why it's hard to quote how much am I going to charge you for stripping the window? Generally, I've tried to help people out and I said, I'll just charge you a certain price per window. Generally, it's been a little bit more for a back glass. It's a bigger window and a little bit cheaper for the side window. But, some, but then that leads me into a spot because if I have to sit and do your glass and I told you $20 for a window and I got to sit here and scrape, scrape, scrape for 40 minutes to clean your window, then that pretty much leaves me out. You know what I mean? Um, but typically, that's what I've been doing. I've been generally just doing a charge per window and hoping for the best but I did have a customer that bought a car from down south they had a back glass and the back glass you can't scrape with the windows because you got the defroster lines you want to keep the defroster lines intact um, they had this glue on there I could not get the glue off I tried chemicals I tried soaking the window I tried everything I went on Facebook and asked people in groups I could not get the glue off so what we do we have to pop the whole glass out I put it on a table I freaking soaked it soaked it soaked it did all this stuff Got it clean, I retinted it, then had glass installers, um, Bartlett Auto Glass, which guys I use out of Appleton, they came back and put the glass in, then it was all good, but that is like an extreme measure to go through for stripping film. So that's kind of my gist on stripping film, kind of what I deal with and what we kind of have to go through for it. So now I'm going to show you what we do and how we do it. So some of you might remember this BMW from the pictures, if you're following on Instagram, Facebook and all that other stuff like that, that we wrapped this BMW later last summer. Um, I'm going to show you another video on that right now. It's back because I want to redo this back glass. So if you come over here and look at this glass, you can see it's, it was a cheaper film. It's bubbling, it's peeling all up. So we're going to strip this, replace it with a nice clean film. So far, thankfully, thankfully, it looks like all the glue is coming off with the film. So this might not be that bad of a back glass removal.
All right, and for some reason this was a two-piece back glass, so I'm gonna get this bottom stripped off and get ready to lay another new one-piece solid black glass. So once I get this done, I'll get back at you. So this is the film that was on the glass. I just removed it. As you can see, it pretty much doesn't have any color anymore. It's just all faded. So it probably should have been removed a long time ago. So now we got this stuff out with the old and with the new. All right, so I lied. I stripped this back window off and there was still a bunch of glue. So it's been about 20 minutes. I steel wooled the whole back glass, cleaned it off. Now you can see I got the film on there. It's all trimmed out. It's, it's H patterned down. So now I'm gonna shrink it, install it, and we'll be good to go. After that final trim, I just sprayed everything off. I got everything all clean. Now I'm gonna spray the inside of the glass with the film down and get this thing installed. All right, it was a little bit of pain in the butt, but you know, it is what it is and we get it done. The back glass is installed, it's laid in. You can see it looks a lot better than before. It's clean, it's a fresh new piece of film. Honestly, it, in my opinion, if you see your back glass or any film on your car starting to turn purple or starting to bubble, I would just take it off. The longer you leave it on there, probably the harder it will be for the next tinter or for yourself or anyone that's gonna take it off and remove it. Um, but I guess if you just want to leave it, then just leave it and let it ride. But like I said, this has been out here for a while. It needed to come off a long time ago. So we got some new, fresh, clean film in here. This is 50% ceramic film. And I know I don't talk a lot about ceramic. I'll be talking about that later on in another video. Also, I want to talk more about this car that we did wrap last year in the Avery Diamond Red. So I have another videos on that as well, so you can check the whole car out. But until that, until then, Subscribe, like, share with your friends, thumbs up, and we'll see you in another video. Peace.